know it's a 9:25, and we did. I did call uh, for session to resume at nine. So this morning we have Senator Uggen, Senator Tony Ada, Senator Tom Ada, Senator Taitigui, Senator Respicio. One, two, three, four, five, six of us here. Sergeant at Arms, going to ask you please call the senators in. We are going to be voting this morning. Agenda na lehas <laughs> lechon guahan is called to order. Recognize uh, Senator Respicio. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, uh, notwithstanding the House rules, I move that we we, we bring uh, Bill 488 uh, back to committee. It's in the voting file right now, at the request of the uh, author of the bill and the uh, chairman who have jurisdiction over that uh, issue. On that motion, then, without any objection, so order it. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My second notwithstanding motion is to bring the engrossed version of uh, Bill 54 uh, back to the top of the second reading file for purposes of making uh, one amendment. On that motion, without any objection, so order it. Thank you, um, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, with Bill 54, um, I have an amendment, and uh, it's been um, it's provided uh, to each member in writing. Uh, and it simply is to be consistent with um, the constitutional uh, ruling Roe v. Wade uh, when dealing with this very sensitive issue of abortion. And the amendment is to insert the words in um, subsection A1, to save the life or preserve the health of the mother uh, or the fetus, to insert the words mother. On that Amendment, no objection, so ordered. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm not going to speak any further on this bill. We've really deliberated this uh, uh, to the extent uh, possible. And so I move that uh, Bill 54 be placed in the voting file, and I further move that uh, we be allowed to vote on this bill uh, without engrossment. On that motion, then, without any objection, so ordered. Can we please uh, make sure that we call all the members in to, to vote?
back in session. Senator Respicio, you're recognized. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, notwithstanding the House rules, I move that we uh, bring the um, engrossed version of Bill 54 uh, back to the sec top of the second reading file. Without any objections, so ordered. Madam Speaker, um, earlier I passed out an amendment um, that, seek, that sought to um, amend Bill 54, and uh, in consultation with the author, um, and thank you for allowing the motion, and I thank the body for allowing this uh, bill to be uh, further amended. On the m amendment that I passed, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to, yeah. Yeah, on this amendment that I passed out, Madam Speaker, I move to strike out the words um, in 9-1, Actually, uh, number item one, strike out the words or preserve the health. So the new sentence would read, save the life of a mother or the fetus. On that motion, without any objections, so we're yeah. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And uh, this time, I, again, now we're saying the House rules, I move that, I, that we bring this bill back to the voting file and that we vote without engrossment. On that motion, without any objections, so we're Okay, Senators, we are voting, so I ask that uh, please take your seats. Anybody else who shouldn't be in the hall uh, should uh, leave, except for the pages. We are in the voting file, and the first bill on the um, voting file will be bill number 306-30 COR. Bill number 306-30 COR introduced by F.B. Agun Jr. An act to rezone <clears throat> lot number one, block two of the subdivision of lot 1098 remainder located in the municipality of Barragata, Guam for the residential, from residential to commercial to allow for greater application and use of the property and the surrounding areas. Roll call. Senator T. C. Ada. Yes. Senator V. A. Ada. Yes. Senator Uggen. Yes. Senator Bloss. Yes. Senator Calvo. Aye. Senator Cruz. Senator Espaldon. Yes. Senator Guthards. Senator Munya Barnes. Okay. Okay. Senator Palacios. Okay. Senator Pengelinen. Okay. Senator Respicio. Okay. Senator Tidegui. Okay. Senator Tenorio. Okay. Madam Speaker, I also move to excuse Senator B.J. Cruz from voting. He was, he, yes, he was earlier. Thank you, though. Thank you for thinking, uh, thinking of him. <laughs> okay, we're, we are voting, so we'll continue. Senator Atenor, you did vote, right? Okay. Speaker Wampet. Hungan. Bill number 306-30 COR received 14 yay votes and one excused absence. Bill number 306-30 COR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 364-30 COR. Bill number 364-30 COR substituted by the Committee on Appropriations, Taxation, Banking, Insurance, Retirement and Land and amended on the floor. Introduced by V.C. Penglinen. An act to amend Section 6 of Public Law 24 141 relative to event admissions <coughs> assessment to the Guam Raceway Park. Roll call. <coughs> Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator Ogden. Okay. Senator Blas. Yes. Senator Calvo. Aye. Senator Cruz, Senator Espaldon, yes. 
Senator Guthard? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Pangalinan? Yes. Senator Respicio? Yes. Senator Tidegui? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Yes. Speaker Wampat? Again. Bill number 364-30 CUR received 14 yay votes and one excused absence. Bill number 364-30 CUR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 431-30 CUR. <coughs> Bill number 431-30 CUR is mandated on the floor. Introduced by B.C. Penglin and Judith T. Wampad, EDD. An act on man section 4302B of chapter four, article three, title four, Guam code annotated, relative to providing utilization and cost information to current and prospective health insurance companies who provide health care coverage to government of Guam employees and retirees. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator Uggen. Yes. Senator Blas. Senator Calvo? Aye. Senator Cruz? Senator Espaldon? Yes. Senator Guthard? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Pengelinen? Yes. Senator Respicio? Yes. Senator Tidegui? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Yes. Speaker Wampet? I'm good. Bill number 431-30 CUR received 14 yay votes and one excused absence. Bill number 431-30 CUR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 438-30 CUR. Bill number 438-30 CUR, a subsidy by the Committee on Appropriations, Taxation, Banking, Insurance, Retirement and Land and amended on the floor. Introduced by V.C. Penglin and T.R. Munio Barnes, Judy T. Wampet, E.D.D. An act to add new subsections 5, 6, 7, and 8 to section 13109A, chapter 13 of Title II, Guam Code Annotated, relative to section 30 funds and other federal matters. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator T.C. Ada. Bill number 438. Senator Agan? Yes. Senator Blas? Yes. Senator Cabo? Yes. Senator Cruz? Yes. Senator Espaldon? Yes. Senator Guthards? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Pangalinen? Senator Respicio? Yes. Senator Tidegui? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Yes. Speaker Wampa? I'm good. Senator V.A. Ada? Yes. Senator Tenorio?
substitute bill number 438-30 COR received 14 yay votes and one excused absent. Substitute bill number 438-30 COR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 442-30 COR. Bill number 442-30 COR, a subsidy by the Committee on Appropriations, Taxation, Banking, Insurance, Retirement, and Land, introduced by T. Sieda. An act to authorize the extension of the term of the lease between the Port Authority of Guam and the Cementon Micronesia LLC for a term of up to 30 years. Roll call. Senator T. C. Ada. Senator V. A. Ada. Yes. Senator Ogden. Yes. Senator Blas. Yes. Senator Calvo. Aye. Senator Cruz. Yes. Senator Espaldon. Yes. Senator Guthert. Yes. Senator Munya Barnes. Yes. Senator Palacios. Yes. Senator Pangilinan. Yes. Senator Respicio. Senator Tidegree? Yeah. Senator Tenorio? Yeah. Speaker Wampet? Okay. Substitute Bill Number 442-30 CUR received 14 yay votes and one excused absence. Substitute Bill Number 442-30 CUR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 450-30 LS. Bill number 450-30 LS as amended on the floor. Introduced by VC Penglinen, Telotidegree, Thierry Munya Barnes. An act on men section 8150 of Article 1, Chapter 8, Title 4 of the Guam Code annotated relative to investments in bonds of United States and federal instrumentalities. Roll call. Senator T. C. Ada. Senator V. A. Ada? Yes. Senator Ogden? Yes. Senator Blas? Yes. Senator Calvo? Aye. Senator Cruz? Yes. Senator Espaldon? Yes. Senator Guthert? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Pangilinan? Senator Respicio. Okay. Senator Tidegree. Okay. Senator Tenorio. Okay. Speaker Wampet. Okay. Bill number 450-30 LS received 14 yay votes and one excused absent. Bill number 450-30 LS is duly passed by this body. <clears throat> Bill number 461-30 LS. Bill number 461-30 LS, a subsidy by the Committee on Municipal Affairs, Aviation, Housing and Recreation, and amended on the floor. Introduced by Judith P. Guthers, DPA, T.R. Munio Barnes. An act to add a new article to, to Chapter 40 of Title 5 Guam Code Annotated relative to creating a Community Partnership Council, CPC, for the purposes of identifying sites and funding for the construction of multi-purpose centers for every village which shall be known as the Community Partnership Act of 2010. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator Ogden. Senator Blas? Yes. Senator Calvo? Aye. Senator Cruz? Senator Respaldon? Yes. Senator Guthert? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Pengelinen? Yes. Senator Respicio? Yes. Senator Tidegree? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Yes. Speaker Wampet? Again. 
Bill number 461-30LS received 14 yay votes and one excused absence. Bill number 461-30LS is duly passed by this body. Bill number 463-30COR. Bill number 463-30COR as amended on the floor. Introduced by Adolfo B. Palacios Sr. T. R. Munio Barnes. An act to repeal and reenact section 34152 of Article 1, Chapter 34, Title 5, one code annotated, relative to disbursing child support payments by electronic means. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator Ogden. Yes. Senator Blas. Yes. Senator Calvo. Senator Cruz, Senator Espaldon, yes. Senator Guthards, yes. Senator Munya Barnes, yes. Senator Palacios, yes. Senator Pangilinan, yes. Senator Respicio, yes. Senator Tidegree. Senator Tenorio. Yes. Speaker Wampat. Pass. Senator Cavo. Aye. Senator Tidegree. Uh, yes. <laughs> Senator Tenorio. Speaker Wampat. Yes. Bill number 463-30 COR received 13 yay votes, one nay, and one excused absence. Bill number 463-30 COR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 466-30 COR. Bill number 466-30 COR, as amended on the floor, introduced by Adolfo B. Palacios, Sr. An act to amend section 77109, chapter 77, title 10, Guam Code annotated relative to the qualifications for the appointment of the chief of police. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator Ogden. Yes. Senator Blas. Yes. Senator Cabo. Aye. Senator Cruz. Senator Espaldon. Yes. Senator Guthards. Yes. Senator Munya Barnes. Yes. Senator Palacios. Yes. Senator Pangilinan. Yes. Senator Respicio. Senator Tidegree, okay. Senator Tenorio, yes. Speaker Wampat. I'm good. <clears throat> Bill number 466-30 COR received 14 yay votes and one excused absence. Bill number 466-30 COR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 467-30, COR. Bill number 467-30, COR, introduced by Adolfo B. Palacios, Sr. An act to amend subsection A of section 3107 of Article 1, Chapter 3 of Title 22, Guam Code Annotated, relative to compensation for public safety personnel who perform work in shifts. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator Ogden. Yes. Senator Blas. Yes. Senator Calvo. Aye. Senator Cruz. Senator Espaldon, yes. Senator Guthards, yes. 
Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Pangilinan? Yes. Senator Respicio? Yes. Senator Tidegree? Yes. Senator Tenorio? <laughs> Speaker Wampat. I'm good. Bill number 467-30 LS received 14 yay votes and one excused absence. Bill number 467-30 LS is to be passed by this body. Bill number 473-30 COR. Bill number 473-30 COR as substituted by the Committee on Economic Development, Health and Human Services and Judiciary and amended on the floor. Introduced by T.C. Ada, F.B. Agun, Jr., Judith T. Wampat, E.D.D., Adolfo B. Palacios, Sr., V.C. Pengelina, and Judith P. Guthards, D.P.A. An act to reprogram and appropriate funds from the limited obligation highway bonds authorized by Public Law 19-2 relative to improving the availability of Department of Public Works, D.P.W., school buses by the refurbishing of selected school buses performing overdue preventative maintenance services, purchasing of tools and equipment for bus maintenance, and the repairing of facilities at DPW bus substations, and to repair vehicles of the Guam Police Department and the Guam Fire Department. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator Ogden. Senator Blas? Yes. Senator Calvo? Aye. Senator Cruz? Yes. Senator Espaldon? Yes. Senator Guthards? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Pangalinen? Yes. Senator Respicio? Yes. Senator Tidegree? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Speaker Wampat. Substitute Bill Number 473-30 COR received 14 yay votes and one excused absence. Substitute Bill Number 473-30 COR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 474-30, COR. Four seventy-three, which just did. This is four seventy-four. Not four eighty. No. What number? Bill number 474-30 COR, as substituted by the Committee on Economic Development, Health and Human Services, and Judiciary, and further amend, substituted and amended on the floor. Introduced by Telu Tategui, F.B. Agun Jr., T.C. Ada, R.J. Respicio, V.C. Penglin, and T.R. Munio Barnes, Judith P. Guthards, and others. An act to reprogram the sum of $1,050,000 from unused bond proceeds to the Department of Public Works for the paving of village streets and the repair of damages to village streets as a result of traffic diversions related to ongoing road construction projects. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Senator V.A. Ada. Senator Ugan? Yes. Senator Blas? Yes. Senator Cabo? Aye. 
Senator Cruz, Senator Espaldon, yes. Senator Guthards, yes. Senator Munya Barnes, yes. Senator Palacios, yes. Senator Pangilinan, yes. Senator Respicio, yes. Senator Tidegree, yes. Senator Tenorio. Speaker Wampet. Again. Senator T. C. Ada. Yes. Senator V. A. Ada. Yes. Senator Tenorio. Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Substitute Bill Number 474-30 COR received 14 yay votes, one excused absence. Substitute Bill Number 474-30 COR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 479-30, COR. <clears throat> Bill number 479-30, COR, substituted by the Committee on Econom Economic Development, Health and Human Services and Judiciary, and amended on the floor. Introduced by F.B. Agun, Jr., V.C. Peng Linen, F.F. Blood, Jr., Judith T. Guthers, D.P.A. T.R. Munia Barnes. An act amend subsection S of section 8109, Chapter 80, Division 4, Title 10, Guam Code Annotated, relative to expanding the borrowing ability of the Guam Memorial Hospital Authority by including the authorization to also enter into revolving loan funds and direct loans. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator Uggen. Yes. Senator Blas. Yes. Senator Calvo. Senator Cruz, Senator Espaldon, yes. Senator Guthards, yes. Senator Munya Barnes, yes. Senator Palacios, yes. Senator Pangilinan, yes. Senator Respicio, yes. Senator Tidegree, yes. Senator Tenorio, yes. Speaker Wampet. Okay. Substitute Bill Number 479-30, COR, received 14 yay votes, one excused absence. Substitute Bill Number 479-30, COR, is duly passed by this body. Bill Number 453-30, COR. Bill Number 453-30, COR, a substitute with the Committee on Appropriation, Taxation, Banking, Insurance, Retirement, and Land, and amended on the floor. Introduced by V.C. Penglin and Judy P. Guthers, DPA. An act to approve the official zoning map of F367S52, the Dosamantes Planning Area, and all related zoning amendments. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator Ogden. Yes. Senator Blas. Yes. Senator Calvo. Senator Cruz, Senator Espaldon, yes. Senator Guthards, yes. Senator Munya Barnes, yes. Senator Palacios, yes. Senator Pengilinan, yes. Senator Respicio, yes. Senator Tidegree, yes. Senator Tidegree, Senator Tenorio, Speaker Wampet. Again. Substitute Bill Number 453 30 LS 
received 14 yay votes and one excused absent absence substitute bill number 453-30 ls is duly passed by this body substitute bill number 37 i mean bill number 372-30 cor bill number 372-30 cor as substituted on the floor introduced by bjf cruz an act to amend section 13201b of article 2 chapter 13 title 19 of the guam code annotated relative to the reporting of suspected child abuse or neglect by clerical personnel of churches or other religious organizations. Roll call. Speaker. Senator well, T.C. One moment Adam. before the vote starts, Senator. Yeah, um, Senator Argan just pointed out this should be um, um, cler clerical. Oh. Not clerical, uh, clergical. Yeah. clerical. Cler or clergy yes. personnel. It's a technical correction, but just okay. Uh, yes, duly duly <laughs> noted, <laughs> and uh, the clerks uh, and senators. We are still voting, please. There must be order. Roll call. Roll call. Senator T. C. Ada. Senator V. A. Ada. Yes. Senator Agun. Yes. Senator Blas. Yes. Senator Cabo. Yes. Senator Cruz. Senator Respaldon. Yes. Senator Guthards. Yes. Senator Munya Barnes. Senator Palacios. Senator Pangilinan. Yes. Senator Respicio. Yes. <laughs> Senator Tadegui. <coughs> Senator Tenorio. <coughs> Speaker Wampa. Ungen. Ungen. Senator Blas, Senator Cavo, Senator Respaldon, Senator Munya Barnes. Senator Tidegree. Senator Tenorio. Senator Bloss. Senator Cavo. Senator Espadon. Senator Espaldon? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Okay. Senator Tidegree? Yes. Senator Tenorio?
substitute bill number 372-30 COR receive 10 yay votes four nays and one excused absent substitute bill number 372-30 COR is duly passed by this body Bill number 401-30 COR. Bill number 401-30 COR introduced by Judith T. Wampet, EDD, Pierre Mooney Barnes. An act to add a new section A0105E to Chapter 80 of Title 21, Guam Code Annotated, relative to the transfer of property under the jurisdiction of the Port Authority of Guam to the jurisdiction of the Guam Ancestral Lands Commission. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada? Yes. Senator V.A. Ada? Yes. Senator Uggen? Yes. Senator Blas? Senator Cabo? Oh, there you are. 401 30. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Cruz? Senator Espadon? Yes. Senator Guthards? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Pengelinen? Yes. Senator Respicio? Yes. Senator Tidegree? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Yes. Speaker Wampat? Again. Senator Blas? Bill number 401-30, COR received 14 yay votes and one excused absence. Bill number 401-30, COR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 402-30, COR. Bill number 402-30, COR introduced by Judith E. Wampa, DDD, Thier Munya Barnes. An act to add a new section 80105F to Chapter 80 of Title 21 Guam Code Annotated relative to the transfer of property under the jurisdiction of the Port Authority of Guam to the jurisdiction of the Guam Ancestral Lands Commission. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada? Yes. Senator V.A. Ada? Yes. Senator Uggen? Yes. Senator Blas? Senator Cavo? Aye. Senator Cruz? Senator Espadon? Yes. Senator Guthards? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Pengelinen? Yes. Senator Respicio? Yes. Senator Tidegree? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Yes. Speaker Wampat? Okay. Bill number 402-30 COR received 14 yay votes, one excused absence. Bill number 402-30 COR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 403-30 COR. Bill number 403-30 COR introduced by Judith T. Wampet, EDD, T.R. Muni Burns. An act to add a new section A0105G the Chapter 80 of Title 21 Guam Code Annotated relative to the transfer of property under the jurisdiction of the Port Authority of Guam to the jurisdiction of the Guam Ancestral Lands Commission. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada? Yes. Senator V.A. Ada? Yes. Senator Uggen? Yes. Senator Blas? Yes. Senator Calvo? Aye. Yes. Senator Cruz? Senator Espaldon? Yes. Senator Guthards? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Penglinen? Yes. Senator Respicio? Yes. 
Senator Tidegui? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Yes. Speaker Wampat? Again. Bill number 403-30 COR received 14 yay votes, one excused absence. Bill number 403-30 COR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 459-30 COR. Bill number 459-30 COR as amended on the floor, introduced by VC Peng Lin and F.B. Agun Jr., T.C. Ada. An act on men, section 51821A of Article 8, Chapter 51 of Title 10, Guam Code Annotated, relative to the use of proceeds of sales of bonds. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada. Yes. Senator V.A. Ada. Yes. Senator Uggen. Yes. Senator Blas. Yes. Senator Cabo. Senator Cruz, Senator Espadon, yes. Senator Guthards, yes. Senator Munoz Barnes, yes. Senator Palacios, yes. Senator Pengelinen, yes. Senator Respicio, yes. Senator Tidegui, Senator Tenorio? Yes. Speaker Wampet? Again. Senator V.A. Ada? Yes. Senator Blas? Yes. Senator Cavo? Aye. Senator Espaldon? Yes. Senator Tidegui? Senator Tenorio? Yes. Senator V.A. Ada? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Bill number 459-30 COR received 14 yay votes and one excused absent. Bill number 459-30 COR is duly passed by this body. Bill number 446-30 LS. Bill number 446-30 LS. <clears throat> As substituted by Committee on Economic Development, Health and Human Services and Judiciary, and further substituted and amended on the floor. Introduced by Judith T. Wampat, EDD, F.B. Agun Jr., T.R. Munoz Barnes, J.B. Espaldon, Judith P. Guthers, DPA. <clears throat> An act to authorize the funding for the construction of the University of Guam Student Services Center and the Annex Building for the School of Engineering for the extension of the Guam Community College, GCC, Gregorius G. Paris Crime Lab Building, and for the renovation and hardening of GCC Building 100 and 200. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada? Yes. Senator V.A. Ada? Yes. Senator Ogden? Yes. Senator Blas? Yes. Senator Calvo? Senator Cruz, Senator Espaldon, yes. Senator Guthards, yes. Senator Munya Barnes, yes. Senator Palacios, yes. Senator Penglinen, yes. Senator Respicio. Senator Tidegui? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Yes. Speaker Wampet? Again. Senator Bloss? Yes. 
Senator Calvo? Senator Respondon? Yes. Senator Tidegui? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Senator Bloss? Yes. Senator Calvo? Yes. Senator Tidegui? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Bill number 446-30 LS received nine yay votes, five nay votes, and one excused absence. Bill number 446-30 LS is duly passed by this body. Bill number 54-30 COR. Bill number 54-30 COR <clears throat> as submitted by the committee in ed Committee on Economic Development, Health and Human Services and Judiciary, and further substituted and amended on the floor. Introduced by E.J.B. Cavill, T.R. Munio Barnes, F.F. Blood Jr., Judith P. Guthard, D.P.A., R.J. Respecio. An act to add a new section 321.8.1 to Chapter 3, Article 2 of Title 10, Guam Code Annotated, relative to establishing the informed consent requirement for a woman considering an abortion and to cite the act as the Women's Reproductive Health Information Act of 2010. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada? Yes. Senator V.A. Ada? Yes. Senator Ogden? Yes. Senator Bloss? Yes. Senator Calvo? Aye. Senator Cruz? Senator Respondon? Yes. Senator Guthards? Senator Munya Barnes? Okay. Senator Palacios? Aye. Senator Pengelinen? Senator Respicio? Yes. Senator Tidegui? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Yes, 54. Yes? Speaker Wampat. Again. Senator Tidegui? Yes. Substitute bill number 54-30 COR received 13 yeas, one nay vote, one excused absence. Substitute bill number 54-30 COR is duly passed by this body. Notwithstanding the objections of Imagaline Wahan, should vetoed bill number 271 be overridden? Vetoed bill number 271-30 LS as amended on the floor. Introduced by Adolfo B. Palacios Sr., Judy P. Guthers, DPA, T.C. Ada, and others. An act to repeal section 77108, chapter 77, title 10, Guam Code annotated, authority to hire attorney, and to re repeal section 3104, chapter 3, title 5, Guam Code annotated, relative to establishing provisions for the Attorney General to provide legal services to the Guam Police Department and relative to the positions of Fire Chief and Chief of Police and for other purposes. Roll call. Senator T.C. Ada? Yes. Senator V.A. Ada? Yes. 
Senator Uggen? Yes. Senator Blas? Yes. Senator Calvo? Aye. Senator Cruz? Yes. Senator Respaldon? Yes. Senator Guthards? Yes. Senator Munya Barnes? Yes. Senator Palacios? Yes. Senator Panglinen? Yes. Senator Respicio? Senator Tidegree? Yes. Senator Tenorio? Yes. Speaker Wampat? Again. On the matter of vetoed Bill 271-30 COR, notwithstanding the objections of the governor, the votes are 14 yeas and one excused absence. Bill number 271-30, COR, is overridden by Imina Tenta and Lehes Return Guahan. We should be on the confirmations. Do we have the confirmation sheets? On the appointment of Ms. Helen M. Bordalio to serve as a member of Guahan Historic Preservation <laughs> Review Board, all in favor, please raise your right hand or your hands. Show of hands. <laughs> the, on the, uh, she Ms. Helen Bordalio received unanimous support to serve as a member of Guahan Historic Preservation Review Board. So she's duly confirmed by this body. On the appointment, now this is going to be roll call, on the appointment of Mr. J. Peter Roberto to serve as director of the Department of Public Health and Social Services, Services we're going to ask for a roll call because it's a director position. Senator T.C. Ada. Senator V.A. Ada? Yes. Senator Uggen? Yes. Senator Blas? Yes. Senator Calvo? Aye. Senator Cruz? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yes, we understand. Senator S. Baudon? Yes. Senator Guthards? Senator Munya Barnes? Yeah. Senator Palacios? Yeah. Senator Pengelinen? Yeah. <laughs> Senator Respicio? Yeah. Senator Tidegree? Yeah. Senator Tenorio? Yeah. Speaker Wampat? Again. <laughs> You want to you wanna put the name? On the appointment then, on the matter of Mr. Peter, Peter, I mean, J. Peter Roberta to serve as Director of the Department of Public Health and so Social Services. You received uh, 14 yay votes and one excused absence. Mr. J. Peter Roberta then is duly confirmed by this body to serve as Director of the Department of Public Health and Social Services. On the appointment of Mrs. Priscilla T. Tunkup to serve as a member of the Civil Service Commission, all in favor, please raise your hand. Ms. Uh, Priscilla T. Tunkup received unanimous support to serve as a member of the Civil Service Commission, so she's duly confirmed by this body. That's it on the voting list. Senator Respicio, you are recognized for a motion. 
Thank you very much, uh, yeah. Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, having exhausted uh, 26 um, items on the agenda, which is, <laughs> and being exhausted in one week, which is usually our uh, usual uh, pace here for the past two years, uh, please permit me to um, recognize the central staff, uh, the Committee on Rules, the various standing committees, every single senatorial office for uh, having these bills vetted and, and properly uh, prepared. So when it comes to the floor, uh, there's very little or, or no um, liberation because uh, our senators have been working closely with the other senators and all the uh, individual staff. And I just wanted um, to make that uh, recognition so that the, all the hard work does not go unrecognized. And uh, there is a reason to celebrate on top of uh, this kind of a very aggressive agenda that you've laid out over the, last, over the past two years. A very special reason to celebrate uh, today, Madam Speaker, is because it's our, our uh, clerk's um, a birthday, one of our attaches. And uh, if you will permit me to ask uh, Senator Tello Taidegui, uh, to do the honors of singing a happy birthday. She actually asked that she be the one to sing happy birthday. <laughs> no, I asked her. I asked her, Madam Speaker. And we so. all agree because you have so, a beautiful voice. Yeah, so. and it's a so very special day for our clerk. <laughs> I object to Senator Guthers being the backup. <laughs> and turn your mic off. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I, Senators, okay, let's. I just turn. wanted to correct that, Madam Speaker. I am under the weather, but um, I asked. I'll be more. She, he asked me, and I'll be more than happy because um, I too uh, would like to give something to um, this body and especially to the clerks up here. So, as everybody sings along with me, Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Pat. And I and I okay, senators, yet we still have um, Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I move that we adjourn subject to the call of the speaker. I, I thought we were going to have a brief extension of remarks for one member had asked. For oh, okay. One member. Yeah, I would draw the motion okay. and defer to um, brief extension of remarks. Yes, but she wants, she asked if she can do it uh, this month. Good so Good please have a seat. <laughs> Okay, considering the situation, uh, Madam Speaker, um, I, I did write something out uh, just to give my thanks and to touch on my experience as a first-term senator here at the legislature. And um, it's truly meant when I say, you know, sister and brother, because um, they have treated me nothing less than a, a sister or brother. Um, I didn't bring my speech today. <laughs> considering uh, I was in a rush. But um, each one of you, have, my colleagues, has been so dear to me. And um, I wrote something for each of you. Let's see if I can remember it now with uh, this cold in my head. And uh, so I guess I, I'll start with my uh, Republican colleagues, especially the rookie and the baby of the group who, where I was once. Um, Continue, continue to uh, reach out to the other senators. You've been a good friend, Tony, and uh, definitely can make me laugh. <laughs> Needed. Senator Espaldon, we go back since the disco days, and we are still discoing back here all the time when I needed that little push, and I wanted to thank you for, for all you've done and helped and assist me. Senator Calvill, um, if there was ever a time I needed someone to uh, yell at me, and uh, it, I, I took it very well coming from you, considering we've been friends for many years, but I learned something. <laughs> Learn to be quiet. You taught me that. And um, actually, that is a good rule sometimes. And 
but you've done more for me to uh, move forward and progress, and I thank you for your leadership as our um, major minority uh, leader. Uh, Senator Frank Boss, if Speaker and Pinko, who I would have loved to have the opportunity to be here um, and work beside, I think you brought his message across and uh, taught me what he would have showed me. Thank you for that. To my Democratic colleagues who I, oh, Ray, but Ray's gone. Ray, thank you for all the rules <laughs> and all the motions. But uh, to my Democratic colleagues who many of you already claimed me uh, as a Democrat, <laughs> I thank you for that. I thank you for that. Senator Frank, again, uh, your smile, your energy, it's amazing. I will take that with me. Senator Tina Munoz Barnes, many God's blessings. Thank you for constantly blessing me. Senator Tom Adda, thank you for when I didn't understand and I would move right over next to you and ask you a question and you were so gracious to help me through this, literally holding my hand from day one. Thank you. Senator Palacios, I mean, if there's ever a Santa Claus in this legislature, it's you. Jolly, happy, always willing to help, and always, always willing to give. Thank you so much. Senator Guthert, you have taught me a great lesson. Many times people will come to you and yell at you and scream at you, but you taught me to how to be gracious, to stop and listen to someone, and that not necessarily yelling back is what's gonna help at all, but by calming a person down and letting them know that it's okay. You have taught me that. Thank you. <sighs> Rory. I have to share. <laughs> Rory has been my best friend, him and his wife, has been there for me um, many times. And um, one thing that is so true is his ability to try and be fair with everybody. And he does realize that some circumstances you have to uh, give in a little bit. But <laughs> I, I can tell you countless times I've had to call him up and um, to guide me through certain things through central files but most especially that even though we all go through what we do here at the legislature and even though we agree to disagree and all those kind words that we say to each other when we get mad Rory you have taught me that at the end you always are going to be a friend and that you showed me that bills come and go, but friendships don't. And no matter how people see us as looking like we're arguing, at the end of the day, it's very true. We stay friends. <sighs> Did I talk about Ben yet? <laughs> You have been my secret idol, <laughs> my person I've looked up to. And I promised I would never cry in this legislature, and I didn't until you spoke up on the day that you were talking about my last bill. You made me cry for the first time. And um, it was so important that I was accepted by you, Speaker Ben, and that you saw the work that I did meant more to me than anything that you saw that. Madam Speaker, you have been the best speaker I've ever had.
<laughs> Thank you for allowing me to come to your home, to knock on your door at any time of the day and letting me in. Thank you so much for that. You are truly one who will keep the peace in this legislature. Thank you for putting up with my divaness. <laughs> and um, truly, I know by my colleagues as well, Madam Speaker, you truly are a person to keep the peace and keep everybody harmonious. Thank you for that guidance. Tijusmasi. To all of you guys. Oh, of course. But most especially at the end, I'm not who I was. I put 14 bills. Thank you for today. This is my 14th bill pass. If it wasn't without my um, staff. And I want to thank each and every one of them Ed Lee, Michael Boo Maggot, Trish, and Patty, and Rollin. Afoqui from my staff. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, they are very good. If you like what I did, then consider picking them up, everybody. <laughs> Somebody. To the staff here again. Don't go to just Mossy. And um, thank you for laughing with me and not at me <laughs> every time I make a mistake. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. God bless us. God bless Guam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, I'm sure uh, every single member of this body uh, joins me and agrees with me uh, when we say that just as much as Senator Taidegui uh, highlighted what we brought uh, to her and for her over the last two years, uh, I think uh, we can say without reservation uh, that she brought a lot to this body that we certainly can learn from and take with us uh, in the next term. Uh, what I've learned from you, Senator Taidegui, uh, is that uh, if you are persistent enough, if you show up to work enough, and uh, never let down on why you feel so passionately about the things you want to do, you can really uh, have a very successful legislative record, and indeed you do. Uh, you can take with you uh, knowing that you've worked uh, very hard, and who would have thought that you would, uh, or anyone for that matter, Madam Speaker would have been successful in securing an appropriation uh, to pave a road that a developer was responsible for paving. But because of Senator Tadegui's passion and for her letting us know that we must never take our eye on the prize, and regardless of how those families found themselves in such an unfortunate situation, that's irrelevant. But what's more relevant and has to remain relevant is that this government has an obligation to provide for the health, safety, and, uh, and welfare of, the, of this uh, island community. And so I appreciate Senator Tidegui's comments and her recollection of what happened over the last uh, two years. And uh, I want to tell her on behalf of all of us that whoever God finds you in the next um, term, January, uh, we definitely would support. I mean, I. I know that uh, we have an incoming administration, and uh, you certainly have a lot of talent that I hope that the incoming administration is committed to selecting the best and the brightest, hint, hint, and that, uh, <laughs> and that should, <laughs> no pressure, but I think this is one um, legislative confirmation that might um, be uh, easy, no doubt. <laughs> but. Um, Having said that, Madam Speaker, I, I want to thank the good senator for her contribution to this legislature, and um, I want to assure you that uh, what we've learned from you will carry forward into the next term. So having said that, I move that we adjourn subject to call of the speaker. On that motion, without any objection, this legislature is adjourned subject to the call of the speaker.